Hi everyone! Today we will talk about a topic that arises from time to time on the Facebook group for Xiaomi Mi Sphere 360 camera. The topic is about the correct exposure settings for outdoor pictures. All the pictures on this tutorial were taken using JPEG, automatic exposure, 50 ISO, and the camera is um, on a monopod and all the pictures uh, were tweaked a lot on their camera roll to arise the difference between the um, various kind of uh, exposure. The first picture is taken without any uh, exposure correction, is, uh, as is from the default settings of the Xiaomi Mi Sphere 360 camera. We can notice how burned are the highlights on the sky, on the wall of the house, and on the bridge on the left. These highlights are not recordable, even tweaking the picture with the camera roll. Also, we can see a little bit of noise on the water that is in the shadow part of the picture. To avoid this kind of burning highlights, we can use a little trick that is called underexposure. So we can set the um, exposure compensation on the camera application at minus 2 or minus 1.5 EVs. Normally I prefer minus 1.5 EV for the overall image balance, but in this case we will look at the minus 2 picture. Here we go. We can notice how better are the highlights on the sky. Okay. Also the noise is not so evident, but a little more than the um, the picture without any exposure correction. But the main problem that arises on the underexposure picture are the noise on the shadow or dark part of the, of the frame. This happens because we need to push the blacks and shadow and a little bit of the exposition on camera roll. And this can arise the noise as uh, we have seen on the shadow part of the cam of the picture. By the way, I think that the minus 1.5 exposure compensation can uh, uh, be a good default setting to have a, an overall well-balanced image. If we want to improve the overall image quality, reducing the noise and uh, having a sort of uh, long time exposure on the water, we can use this stacking image. Taking image means we need to take multiple shots at the same exposure settings and then stack using stacking and medium on Photoshop. We will now give a look at minus two with stacking image. Here it is. Okay. We still have a very good sky with a lot less noise. We can compare. We look here, whereas some color noise and overall noise image, which is this taking image, we have a, a better sky. We can also see the water now <clears throat> is like a long time exposure. Okay. And also, we have some slightly less noise on the dark area. We can see here some artifacts. Most are created by the JPEG compression, but there are some noise also uh, from the Misphere 360 camera. And also, we can see here the difference between the two pictures. There's still some noise, like here, but these are from the JPEG artifacts. By the way, the overall image is quite good. Stacking is also useful to remove people or moving objects on image. As we can see here, we have some people walking. With stacking image, we can remove the people completely. By the way, you have to notice that uh, if there's some wind, the, tre the trees can move a little bit. And so they can appear blurred on the staking image. 
just have a look here. This is the tree on the stack image. And this is the tree on the single image. You can notice the difference between the two. If we want to go any further, we can use the two single image, the zero and the minus two, to create an HDR. I use the Aurora HDR to merge the two singles picture, the zero and minus two EV. This is the final result. You have to notice that I push it a lot the camera row and our HDR settings to let you see the difference way better. We can see now that the sky is very, very blue, but we have some noise even worse than the single image at uh, minus two. Also, we have some noise here on the dark side, just a little bit less than the single image. Not so much less, but just a little bit. By the way, the overall image is well balanced as lighting, light. And uh, we must know that HDR can create some uh, white halos around the edges of the uh, object on the image. We can see one here clearly on the house is white edge. The white edge can be easily removed with the clone uh, uh, tool on the Photoshop, but we must be aware of this. Also, we have to use the ghosting to avoid any leaf or tree moving. In this case, we don't have any ghost here. What we can do to improve the noise on a HDR image? We can use uh, the noise on the HDR software, or we can use the two is taking image we created before. And I mean, I mean the minus two, and there is also a zero uh, stacking image, no AV correction. The final result is this one. We can notice the amount of noise is very well reduced. We can compare from between the two pictures. Okay, just look around here. And here, there's a quite a bit of difference. Now we have the long time effect on the water and also the noise down there is very very well reduced. We are a lot less artifacts down there. The having the, an HDR with taking image can give a very very good image, overall quality image. By the way, remember about the white halos around trees or objects if you push too much. Instead of HDR, we can use also a Fusion software. Luckily, Misphere Converter has a, an integrated Fusion software, so we can load two, three, or four images to create a fused image between the various uh, exposure settings. The final results will be this one. In this case, I used uh, plus two, zero, a uh, minus two EV to have uh, an overall good image from Fusion. I added plus two just to recover a little bit the dark area under the bridge and here just before the water. The overall quality is very, very good. The Fusion engine on Misphere Converter is quite good. You can also notice the noise is not so bad. And this is from three single JPEGs. There's no stacking here. A good thing 
about um, fusion is that you can avoid all the white edges or the globes around trees or every object. As you can see, there is no white halo anywhere. But you can notice here some ghosting because fusion on a hemisphere converter doesn't have a the ghost option. So be very careful if there is some wind outside and there are some trees too. By the way, fusion is very good on interior pictures. This is just as a sample to let you see the difference between various types of exposure and merging exposure. Also notice the good quality on the dark or on dark or shadow or blacks on the image. No noise and very clean picture, overall clean pictures. I think uh, is a very good uh, um, starting point to edit with camera row. As a last option in, the, in my tutorial, we can use a Photomatics Fusion interior setting with a stacking image. This is, I think, the best for this kind of image, even if the Fusion is for interior image. Let's see the, the final result. Here we go. You can notice the difference between the two pictures from hemisphere fusion and uh, photomatics fusion interior. They are both very good images, depends on what you like, um, in my opinion. We can see that noise is overall very, very good. Maybe, maybe just a little bit on, on um, color noise. Let's compare with the hemisphere converter fusion. Okay, just a little bit of difference even on camera row settings. And also, if we go here, you can see the water is a, I have a little different color, but it's due to some camera row settings and the stacking images. So, at the end, what's better? I think if you need a quick shot, do a, an underexposure, minus 1.5 can be a, a good starting point. If you want to go even further, you can do some stacking at minus 1.5. Take around eight pictures can be very, very good. If you like the HDR appearance, you can just use a zero and minus two EV. Don't need to add the plus two since we we will create more halos around the object. And if you want a well balanced image, you can use a photomatics with fusion interior. Or if you don't have the money to buy automatics, you can use the hemisphere converter fusion using plus two, zero, and minus two EV on the picture. It's uh, up to you and uh, enjoy to try every possible settings. I hope you like this video and if you enjoy it, please subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.